What's up guys, welcome back to another 5M scripting tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to send a message in the chat to all clients on the server using a simple line of code. This video will be very short. This is about 15 lines of code. So yeah, this is going to be something that I really struggled with when I first started. I don't know why, but I really struggled with it. So yeah, we're going to do this. So we're actually going to start in the server.lua. I'm also going to be using IntelliSense, but I'm going to be slowing down if I use IntelliSense so you can catch up if you're coding along with me. So we're going to do register net events. So we're going to uh, call this send message server. I also, I always, I also always recommend to add if it's a server or a um, client net event at the end. So what your script does or what this net event does. And then if it's a server or a client, just to keep everything organized so you don't get confused. And we're going to be adding a event, event handler. Sorry, I had a brain fart. And then I'm just going to copy that in. And we're going to do comma and we're at our function. And our function is going to be called message for simplicity. And we're going to end this here. And then we're going to bracket in because I like to bracket in. So we're going to trigger client event. And this is going to be called chat message. So this will send the message in the chat. We're going to do a minus one to send it to everyone in the server and message for our function. So that's everything we need for our server.lua. So next, go to your client.lua, and this is where we're going to be creating the main part of the script. So we're going to be creating a table here, creating a table with some string variables. Well, I mean, string elements actually is what it's called. Um, and do hi by and see ya. so the element so yeah the elements inside of the table are called elements so hi by and see ya are all elements inside the variable that the variable is a table so better said the elements are inside the table the table is the variable so yeah so next we're going to do our citizens create thread and we're not have a function for this so we'll just put function and we'll end this down here. And we'll need a while true do statement for the loop. And we're going to do citizens wait. We'll wait about a thousand milliseconds for the, um, for the loop. So every um, 10 seconds it will loop. Um, yeah, we'll do about, we'll do 10 seconds. That's fine. Now, actually, I'm going to do 500 for the video because I don't want to sit there for 10 seconds. Um, all right. So we're going to trigger our server event now. So this is where we're going to actually connect our client.lua with our server.lua through scripts. So we're going to go back to your server.lua and copy and paste the name. And we're going to do comma. Okay, this is where it might get a little confusing for some people, but there's different ways we could have done this, but I did this in the least um, lines possible that I could do it. So we're actually going to be doing the randomization function with, um, or method rather, inside the, st well, inside the trigger server event rather than creating another variable. Just so this will run a lot faster it's not, um, if this was like a lot more lines, it would be more important, but you know, you could do it either way, but I'm just doing it this way just to do the least amount of lines. So we're going to do table cause we're going to get access to our table here and we're going to do, um, oh, whoops. I got to actually put this in brackets to do table or parentheses. I don't know why I was calling brackets parentheses. And then we need brackets. We do math dot random. So this will get us something random within a range. And we're gonna need another parentheses. I'm gonna set one and then we're gonna do table. Table. And so that would get a random thing out of the table between one and table. So one and table. Alright, so that's our script. I'm gonna go in the server and I'll see you when I get in the server. 
All right, we're in the server now, and you look in the top left of the screen. I'm gonna look down here so it's dark. Uh, you can actually see it's already doing it every about five seconds. It does that. Um, yeah, there you go, and that's the script. Um, I challenge you as a learning developer, as I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you're probably learning to um, expand off this, do something else, you know, create some other sort of script that's your own, you know, uh, customize it, learn. The only way to learn is to fail and mess up and learn your mistakes. So I hope you liked the video. If you guys want to see more tutorials like this, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. It means a lot. It's free. If you have any questions, join my Discord, ask in the, um, the dev support channel. There's devs. That will help. I will help you too. Um, but yeah, that's the video. Peace out.